Hi, I'm Wallace Kelly, and I have a project coming up in which I need to get data out of a database and into some business objects. Now, there's several different ways of doing that. I'm familiar with the first two listed on your screen. One is just to do it manually using the DB Data Reader base class of ADO.net. The other is more involved. It's at the other extreme where you make a commitment to use a large ORM like Entity Framework. Well, I recently read about the idea of micro ORMs, and I read particularly about one called Dapper. And the Dapper uh, micro ORM has just enough functionality to get data into and out of the database, but none of that extra functionality, none of the uh, identity management or change tracking or database migrations. So micro ORM might be perfect in this situation where we have a, a simple schema and some uh, just a real basic need to access data from a database. So let's try out this micro ORM called Dapper. So first, let me introduce the application that we're going to use to try out Dapper. To try Dapper, I'm going to use the Northwinds database. And in particular, I'm going to use the orders and the customers table to pull data out and display it in a simple WPF application. I want to get the data from the orders and database table into customer and orders objects and then show it in a data grid. Right now I'm not showing any data. We're going to do it two ways. First we're going to use the DB data reader to pull that data out and then we'll try to and do it with Dapper. So follow me as I go through the standard process of pulling data out of a database using ADO.net. Okay, so now you can see that I was successful in pulling data, the data that's in the orders table, which is order ID, order date, and customer ID, but I haven't yet pulled out the data for that's uh, specific to the customer given this ID. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see that after a good deal of typing, I was able to get data from both the orders table and the customer table and display it in my grid. So let's just take a look one more time. And you can see that this is what I call doing it manually with a DB data reader. So let's do that same task again, but this time using Dapper. I'm going to switch the method that's being called to return our data and then I'll jump down here to that method. Now to use Dapper, you do need to add a reference to the Dapper library. And the easiest way to do that is through NuGet. And so you can see that here that I've already installed the NuGet package called dopper.net. When you do that and when you add the appropriate using statement at the, at the top, then Dapper adds extension methods onto DB connection. And one of them is query. It's a generic method that takes the type of the object that's going to hold the results of your query. And so there you can see I've put in my simple query. I've said the results should get stored into this business object and then that returns an I enumerable of orders, I enumerable of order in this case, and then I return that. So let's see if it works. 
And sure enough, I have in it the data from the order class. Now let's do the second step and get data for, that is appears in the customer class. So I've copied down my query from the, the other method. And now I want to pass that in here. But I'm going to be putting the results not into just an order class, but into a customer class as well. So I include two types here, both an order and a customer. But in order for this to work, I have to tell Dapper how to connect these two together, how to connect an order to a customer. And my business objects have a property on them for that connection. And then I also tell Dapper which one it is that I want to return. The way this works now is I pass in a function that says, for each row that's returned by this query, for each row that's returned by the query, how do I connect, uh, how do I map that order and the customer into a single order? And so the overload here is a function that takes an order and a customer. So I need to do an order and a customer. And I need to map that uh, into a method like so. And this is going to be a little, a little messy with all the curly braces, but it works. And then that's my, my function that returns a, uh, oops, it needs to return an order, not a customer. That's my function that takes an order and a customer, connects them together, and then returns an order. So let's try that. Oh, got a problem. Let's see what the problem was. Oh, I know. All right, so you also have to tell Dapper. Uh, there's another overload here. So let me, let me spread these parameters out. So that's the function. There's an there's another method here where I have to say what the I have to say what is the ID that connects connects the two tables and in our case the ID is customer ID that's what connects the two tables that's what splits them so let's try that there we go and so you can see that I have uh, data from orders and now data from customer and I've loaded my data that I was interested in from the database, I've loaded it with this single query. So you can see the, uh, that Dapper is taking care of a lot of this manual coding. So let's conclude by looking at what we have just seen. I'm interested in getting data out of a database. I can write that code manually doing DB Data Reader as we saw, or I can make a commitment to a, a full-blown ORM, Object Relational Mapper, uh, or use a micro ORM like Dapper. And as we saw with Dapper, the amount of coding to do to map from the database columns onto your objects uh, can be significantly reduced.